It's 7.30 and I'm drinking iced coffee. It's gonna be a great video. So I used to have a corporate job that I really, really hated. It made me miserable. I hated everything about my existence. And I started selling used stuff on eBay and it changed my life forever. In this video, we're gonna break down a few things as to how I got started into this, how I transitioned, and my general feelings about going from the corporate world to like this crazy entrepreneurial side hustle maniac world. Let's hit the intro and get into it. So guys, let's back up a little bit. I know I have a lot of new followers on here, so I kind of just want to tell my backstory real, real quick. My first career path in life was culinary. I got to a pretty high level pretty fast. I was going down the Michelin star route, so I was trying to be super fancy. If you've ever watched the show on Netflix called Chef's Table, actually one of the chefs, Dan Barber, I worked in his kitchen for a week. So I was really, really passionate. Long story short, I got out of it after about seven years or so just to go work in a donut shop. Then I spiraled into sales by getting my first job at a suit shop in the middle of New York City when I had never worn a suit in my life. And that's what got me hooked into sales and communication and just all around just entrepreneurship. At that time as well, I was hustling on the side as a photographer, trying to make it in the big city. That didn't work out and I failed at that as well. Long story short, I got an opportunity to move to Utah because of a girl and I took it. When I moved to Utah, I got a corporate sales job at the company called Cisco Foods. You may have seen their trucks around. If you worked in restaurants, you've definitely seen the sales reps around. That's what I was. I was a sales rep. I was selling food to restaurants, convenience stores, yada, yada, yada. With all my years of kitchen experience, it was kind of a natural transition and it was a grown up job. I had a full benefits package, 52 grand a year starting salary plus commission. So for a sales job, that was insane. But guess what? I was absolutely miserable. I hated every single day of my life. I hated my job. I hated my coworkers. I hated the people that were my customers. There was nothing about the job that made me happy whatsoever. And most of it was because of corporate. I don't like corporate structure. I don't like doing busy work just to do it. And I don't like listening to the people. That was the biggest problem. Like I went from years of listening to people in restaurants, but that was a little bit different because that was my passion. I was super interested in learning. And now I'm just like listening to schmucks sitting in an office making up arbitrary rules. So that didn't work out for me. So when I had this job at Cisco Foods, I had a lot of free time. I was an on the road sales rep. So I literally just went to restaurant, restaurant, just did whatever I wanted to do all day. And what I wanted to do was go thrifting. So whenever I had a little bit of a downtime, I wasn't seeing a client, I'd go pop in a thrift store. And slowly that spiraled and I started going to thrift stores a little bit more often. And in fact, there was days where I was spending more time actually thrifting than doing my job. And I knew at that point, I had to start making a real decision. Either I was gonna get fired from Cisco and I was gonna suck and I was gonna put Cheyenne and I in a jeopardized position, or I was gonna build up our eBay business to something to where I could quit Cisco and I could have that choice. That's what happened. After just six months or so, I had built the eBay business up to $10,000 a month in gross sales, and that was enough for Cheyenne to be comfortable for us to take this next step in our lives. Here we are about three and a half years later, I'm sitting here with a camera in front of my face because my newest side hustle is YouTube and trying to inspire people to do the same thing. Now, a lot has changed in that three years. A lot has changed in my life, a lot has changed in the business, and a lot has changed for future uh, proposition. We have a son now, Oliver's one and a half years old. He's been through this crazy kind of transition with us and it's been interesting. It's been really interesting to grow as a family in this business and then even so start multiple other side hustles after he was born. But none of that would have ever started if we would have never taken that plunge into eBay. I would have never been in front of this camera if I didn't start selling on eBay. I wouldn't be making passive income off of courses and random other things if it wasn't for eBay. So that was kind of like the vehicle for success. Now, I'm not saying I'm super passionate about eBay. I don't really care so much about reselling, but it is a means to an end. And for a lot of people, it is a way to get out of this corporate job or whatever situation you are in life that you just despise. Let's get into a few tips. Let's get into how you guys can do this as well and just like a real life perspective on it. Tip number one, be realistic. Understand what you actually need as far as income. If you have a family of five, it may be a little bit different than my experience. At that time, it was just Cheyenne and myself and a couple dogs. We were some dumb young kids. We could have been a little bit more reckless. Now in the position that we're at, I'm a little bit more cautious since again, we have our son Oliver. Would I have jumped the gun so soon before if I did have Oliver? Probably not. I probably would have waited out at least another year and really saved up some cash and really built up more income streams than just cutting loose and you know saying F you and leaving the corporate world. 
everyone's situation is different. If you have a huge mortgage, if you have all these like things that are you're indebted to, you may need to be more realistic. You may have to stick out at this job for longer than you want to, but at the same time, you can be stacking money away from this side hustle of reselling, which is the beauty of it. Tip number two, be realistic with your partner. If you're in a marriage right now, it may be a really scary thing for your partner to you like come home one day and be like, hey, I wanna sell you stuff on eBay and get rid of our full benefits package and our full career path in life. That may really scare a lot of people. Now, I'm very fortunate that my wife wasn't really scared by it. The money was rolling in. We could look at the numbers and understand that like, this is okay. Like we can make this work as long as we're smart, as long as we don't make any really stupid decisions and everything is okay we could make it work. That was the case for us. Now, you guys need to be on the same page. Whatever your spouse is, whatever your living situation is, you do need to have a very serious conversation and tell this person how miserable you are, what you wanna do, how you're gonna do it, and just like an overall plan. Don't just like up and quit your job and don't talk to your spouse, because that's how you get a divorce. Tip number three, walk around your house right now, find some stuff you don't use, list it on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, whatever local apps you have, or heck, if you wanna be ballsy, go straight to eBay or Poshmark and just list it online. See what happens, but don't go like investing a bunch of money into reselling before you actually sell a few of your possessions. That's the easiest way to get started, it's the cheapest way to get started, and it's probably the most common success story you'll hear as far as eBay sellers are concerned. Typically, that's how it starts. We all got restless one day, we started selling stuff out of our house, and boom, now we're here $300,000 later in gross sales. That's how it started for me. One day, Cheyenne and I were sitting at home, I got bored, and I started selling stuff out of the closet on Poshmark, and I got hooked. That's how we really went down this whole clothing thing, and that's why we still sell mainly clothing to this day, is because that was kind of like the catalyst to all this, right? Like, it just sparked everything. I saw what could happen. It all kind of just blew up in our face, and again, now I'm here. None of this is unrealistic. You can generate six figures on eBay quite easily. In our first year on eBay, we sold over $100,000 worth of used goods from thrift stores. Now, I'm not a genius. I'm really not that smart, but I was determined. I was miserable at my job, and I was gonna do anything to leave that position. You just need to find your reason why, and you need to push to it. Like, guys, you need to just take it seriously. Like, people online make reselling seem super, super simple, and it's not. Not any part of this business is simple. It takes a lot of effort to get to this point. It takes a lot of effort to be confident in your purchasing decisions. So just know that it's a slow buildup, but once you do have a little bit of a baseline of knowledge, you can be off to the races. Just get started, get started as soon as possible. Don't even watch the end of this video. Just go start right now. I'm kidding, watch the end of this video. It helps the algorithm, please, please, please. And if this is helpful so far, smash that like button because it helps a small channel like ours grow and it creates passive income so my son never has to worry about money. Thank you. But guys, all jokes aside, seriously, like starting side hustles, whatever they may be, don't worry about reselling. Don't worry about anything that anyone tells you. If there's some side hustle that you're really interested in, if you're a seamstress, if you're automotive tech, like you can do all these things on the side and make money and probably make more money and have more freedom than whatever job you have right now. So yes, this video is me telling you guys about like leaving the corporate world and going into this whole reselling endeavor but my reselling thing could be your tailoring thing, right? Like you're a great sewer, tailor men's clothing, like offer that on like online. People pay for it all the time. You don't have to copy me. You don't have to sell used clothing. You can go sell used video games. You can do whatever you want, but don't think that you have to be stuck in this position, in this job title, in any of these traditional norms, because times are changing. If you didn't learn anything in 2020, well then you should probably open your eyes because a lot changed in 2020 in the business sector. Jobs became remote, companies downsized, companies closed offices. So if you didn't learn that your job is not that valuable, I feel sorry for you. It's the time, it's the right time right now to start a side hustle. There's no better time than right now or a year or two ago. Just get into it, follow your passions. I don't care what anyone says, if your friends make fun of you, if your family makes fun of you, who cares, screw them. Follow your passions, follow what makes you money. Whatever you're passionate about can eventually lead to some sort of income because guess what? You'll wake up every single day invigorated to do it, just like I am about YouTube. I love doing this. I love putting a camera on my face. I love doing the setups. I love all this stuff, so this doesn't bother me. It's 7.30 at night, again, I had some coffee. I'm making a video now, and it's great because guess what? I make passive income off of YouTube ads now, so.
it's fantastic. But guys, again, if this video was helpful, smash that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, my name's Sebastian. Cheers.